All right, folks, the deck is pure Librem Paladin. The goal is to reduce the cost of your Librems in order to buff up your minions and then eventually get free devout pupils, pull big spells from your deck with High Abyss Allura, and then eventually pop off with a late game Liadrin to recycle some of the buff spells or Lanessa to create a large board. It's also got first day of school for a little bit of early game and uh, generally just a low curve in order to beat down the opponents. Uh, because we're not running any neutral cards, we also have the pure package of Lightforge Zealot and uh, no 7-drop because it's a bit too heavy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can watch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Watch this! Uh, mini coin minibot into Hand of a Doll is probably just good, right? Okay, well, now I don't even need to make that play. I can just throw out the Aldor Attendant and be fine. I can coin out the Lightforge Zealot. What about the epic two drops? I think you can consider... Oof, good, good English raffle. I think you can consider cutting the minibot for them, but minibot's just like a very good card. So I would hesitate to do so. I don't want to throw this out to just die when I can get some value off of it. It's a pretty good... Uh, pretty good one drop to hit, though. I mean, if they're willing to take four here, it's pretty good for me, right? Battlegrounds Gamer. I need to find a turn to, like, make a big swing. I think for now it's just like this. I don't think I have the cost reduction to make it happen yet. Is the three mana spell burst weapon any good? It doesn't seem like it would be. That's a pretty big oof. That's a pretty good hit. I want to play the hand of a doll when I actually have an attacker on board. And the Haunted Creeper actually makes it more likely that I... Ooh, that was such a good hit. The Haunted Creeper makes it more likely that I have an attacker on board for this. Any defense against OTK decks? Um, damage. Hitting them in the face. This is probably my, uh, my go turn. With the uh, with the coin that is. I feel bad for you. <laughs> I can break the spiders next turn, most likely. Hmm. I've already seen one portal. I'm trying to set up for the uh, the Sunkeeper turn is what's being considered there. Seen one devolve one portal. This curse has become our greatest. I'm gonna cast it here uh, because I want the Lanessa to be better. I don't think this is a good um, Sunkeeper turn. I could use it on a giant. You'll face? Why? I've got a Lanessa in hand. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's big, even shaman. This seems like a good time for a Sunkeeper Tarim. Oh, 
Remember when Twitch chat wanted to cut the uh, Sunkeeper Terum? Ask him for a friend. Name Twitch chat. I want to cycle the uh, Librams. Probably gonna have to take some damage here. Uh, both Colossuses are gone. I just maybe have like a walking fountain to deal with. Oh. That's so bad for me. I was going to get three Librams off of that. It seems pretty dead here, right? Um, after this game, I think I'm going to cut the uh, mini bot for the braggarts, see how that works out for me. But I think mini bot on curve is still just fine. I don't know, I'm kind of limited on two drops. Do I actually want to make that? Like, Braggart isn't a card that you want to play on curve. Really could use an Aldor attendant here. Vic, my dude. That's not helpful. Noda, thank you for the prime. We've gotten 70 wins with Dark Lair Warlock. Turn three or four giants are so good. I know, that deck looks uh, quite silly. I'll probably play it sometime soon. So it's Kingsbane. Uh, Righteous Protector is really good into Kingsbane, and I imagine Devout People will be too. So I'm actually going to slow this down a little bit. Hmm. Like I, I actually could have gone face there to to race, but I didn't want this to, or either of these to have their shields broken. That's part of what makes it so good. The longer we can hold out for the um, Righteous Protector, the better off we are. Oh my god! Phoenix Fire! Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. 
Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous of you. Everybody that received a gift from Phoenix Fire, make sure to thank them. And uh, let's get the raw pipes in chat. Secret patches passage is spooky, but like, again, I think we're just in a perfectly fine spot here. If not like a highly favored position. So that's Kingsbane in hand. It's now a legitimate question as to whether I hit the buck or just start going face. I'm playing this. Into this. So it goes from four to five. I don't have any way of preventing like Tink from getting value, but I think this is probably just, this is happening for sure. If I just play out the Righteous Protector, it dies. So there's no there's no point. Like, it just dies to what's on the board. I would rather get this um, Aldor Truthseeker cleared because they're going to um, they're gonna take care of that here. Going wide is also really good into Kingsbane Rogue, so. It's having so many high durability weapons an issue with this deck. Uh, it hasn't been so far. Seems doubtful. I think I'm playing too passively, but I, I think I also win with this line right now. Reporting for duty. The battle. The light I do love a good should be set here. Um, got four, eight, ten. Yeah, we should have lethal. Blood and plunder. Blood and plunder. Uh, the Divine Shield is too important. This game probably could have been over sooner if I had played more aggressively. But I was basically most... I spent most of the game trying to preserve Divine Shields on the Taunt minions. Do we know what the best way to support Raffle is? I want to see the funny man be funny. Uh, just watching has plenty of support. I promise. So this is why we've like wanted to set multiple taunts because it's nice of them to add a dead card to their deck. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because even if that were a uh, even if that were a good card, they were still dead there. This is a good curve. This is unlikely to die early. Even if it does, we get the mini bot. Yep. The light dim, but we fight. I have a favorite flavor of crisp. Ah. Uh, no, not really. No, I don't. I don't actually eat uh, what we call them chips here that often. Maybe like the uh, salt and vinegar kettle chips. Oh, 
I think it's strange to think about that you only play one pure synergy card. I mean, I'm running half of them. I cannot wait to Red alert. And I'm running the good one. Like, the Zealot's just a really good card. Wait, they coiled. Why did they run coil in this deck? Hold on. That's real weird. They have double coil? Are they trying to draw with Dark Glare into Mechathun? What's going on? Double mortal coil in discard warlock. Hey, you were just a burden. I cannot wait to read these. Become the hero. This world needs. Good card. Good card. That's a turn five. I was here, me too. Why did it get so quiet? <laughs> that was weird. Is Secret Mage still a top tier deck? Oh yeah. Like, it probably beats Kingsbane, right? If uh, if you can just set up your ice blocks. It beats Quest Mage. Um, it has the potential to beat Priest. I'm going to save one of these, but I'll, I'll play the first one just to see what I get. I cannot wait to read these. these are pretty decent. They don't have a turn here, so having the two attack minion is important. This deck is BS, I'm over it already. I mean, it's only marginally different than it used to be. It just high rolls a little bit more now. And, like, we're still in a fine spot. Someone's gotta lead the charge. I must have slain <laughs> possible we get blown out by savage or here that's not even lethal is it eight plus uh numbers yeah we're still fine like i actually think we win from here with the uh with the chonk here coming back and ooh yeah all right just need to play it safe, I guess. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Another one. Uh, Minus one, by the way, chat. Burn to play. For justice. Okay, as long as they don't have the reader, I think we're fine. We just play this into the... Well, it depends on what they do to this taunt minion, if anything. Uh -oh. <laughs> sure. AoE buff? Nope. Okay, probably want to play this. I I do need to clear their board off though, especially with the uh, gibber. I'm too strong. Hmm. I like this better actually. I don't want to throw the Righteous Protector out to just get hero powered down. I can't win them all. I will fight I see you later, Levanto. I will command the light. 
don't think I keep the first or the uh, righteous projector with the first day of school and the Christology. This is already a good enough opener. Summit Shack, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Raffle Raffle. How's your day? It's going pretty well. I, I mean, most of my day has been streaming. I did some editing and got a workout in in the morning, and now I'm here. Nope. Attacker's initiative is mine. I cannot wait to read these. I cannot wait to read these. I want to retain the coin here because getting the uh, getting this down first is going to be really good. I should be in a strong position here, but that was a really, really good hit off of the one drop. <laughs> Pogo Paladin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I was hoping to hit the second attendant, but still a good turn. And I still get to retain the coin, so. Hey, Rafa, where is your blessing of authority? It's in my collection. Because I think it's too slow for the deck. This is quite the mirror, chat. <laughs> I am so good at that. For justice. That should give us a pretty good advantage, shouldn't it? Ravel, you are the best Hearthstoneer. I think that's exactly what this turn confirms, yes. That can't feel good, what? Ouchie time. Honestly, that's just like perfectly fine. I'm going to throw the book at you. Uh, I want to use this on minions with the Liadrin in hand or Lanessa. God, I always get them mixed up. I'm going to throw the book yeah. at you. That is an inexpensive devout pupil. Repent. It's about to get even cheaper. Spoiler Spoilers, chat. This is the easiest to kill off, so. I'm just gonna play it, and I probably play the Lanessa next turn. I must have slid one hundred or so. I mean, we've got Lethal showing on board, right? So, but they've got a Taunt minion in hand. I do love a good study session. I mean, still seem kind of dead, right? Okay, I need to find Aldor Attendant. That 
That is not it. But I have a one drop here. I am become aggro druid, chat. How do we keep getting so lucky off of these first day of schools? <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it, can he? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. This is so dumb. Keep the mini bot. I'd rather find a one drop, but it's still like just good to get a mini bot down. Oh god, here we go again. This deals with a coin two drop, like a coin archaeologist. Look at the value, chat. I didn't pay attention to the fact that they kept the leftmost card, so I probably would have played the uh, the runic egg had I known it was quest mage. I must have slain one of this is good protection against the missiles. And Skullman's Academy has some jams. Welcome, Druid. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the YouTube. Hope you uh, are able to get some work done. No, just ping this. Also, actually, why not ping what? Okay. I want to... Uh... I want to take advantage of the weapon swing in case I need to use the Libram next turn. Oh, you like Skull of Man's Academy? Name two of their albums. That's a funny joke. Oops. I wonder if this armor is going to end up being relevant. Like, what if this survives into the Librem of Hope turn? <laughs> Actually, the attack order was terrible there, wasn't it? Six damage, so we're a little short here. But the opponent's a little dead. Threatening lethal.
Got lethal. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Justice Crater, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Boardman5, Matthew Crow, and Nick the Chef. 